Hello and Tashi Delek to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. It's Jamyang. I'm in a beautiful village of Lingdi area which is in eastern part of Tibet. Today we are invited by a lady to her village for a lunch and she will cook us some organic dishes including Tibetan mountain pig and chicken. And I will share you all my experience today and show you how their life is and their custom here. And first I will show you this beautiful scenery around this village just to take all your stress out. Mm, that's a delicious butter tea. I mean, it's really good for high altitude. Yeah, yes. We just had a beautiful conversation and she was telling me that the villagers here they are living mainly onto their farmlands and she also have some animals as well and they also can pick some treasures from the mountains you know like so many different kind of mushrooms and this is like their main income in this village and first we are going to do the house tour it's so colorful and beautiful women always planted beautiful flowers and the design of the houses here is a little bit different than the others. The roofs is like triangle shape because here it's a little bit lower altitude and they have like lots and lots of rain. That's why the houses here, they build it with the shape of triangles. Now I'm in the living room as well as it is also a kitchen. Look at that amazing, beautiful stove where she was going to cook our lunch here on this stove and she just told me that they are just using the wood instead of using gas cylinders or yak dung because this place is just surrounded by the forest you know so that's why they can get lots and lots of wood and this is made out of yak tail just to clean every part of yak is actually treasure and you see this is really interesting Tibetan knife the cover it is made out of deer skin Wow. And even in such a remote area, we also can see fridge and refrigerator disinfections cabinet. I am in the praying chapel and she says she has such a beautiful praying chapel. And she just told me that she believes in Ingmaba sect, which is actually a sect of a Tibetan Buddhism. And this sect is the combination of Pun sect and the Buddhism. You know, so Pun is actually the first religion that we have in Tibet and then they mix it with the Buddhism and then there comes the Nyingmaba sect which is a part of Tibetan Buddhism. Oh my god, this is a bad heaven. I mean she was the most luckiest woman in this world. And now she was going to prepare our lunch and she is going to go in a farm to get some organic vegetables and also going to get some fresh mushrooms from the mountains.
Smells really fresh. To me, don't that. The villagers here, they have built it such a big mantras, the praying mantras like that, and rotating by the water. This is really interesting. Never stop rotating. Amazing. And here we can see the small stupas, that is their landlord, and then they do the prayings for their protections. And you say it's a farm of barley, the main food in Tibet. We love to have sampa that was made out of barley. They also can grow here wheat because here the altitude is approximately about 2,600 meters. It's lower than other places in Tibet. So it is really suitable to grow the wheat here. So that's why they can grow both wheat and barley. So beautiful, lots and lots of flowers like that. And that flower is going to make my lunch more beautiful. So that's the Tibetan mountain peak. Why it is so special is because those peaks are much much smaller than the other peaks and they were usually raised in the mountains like wild animals.
And now she was going to put this golden mushroom that we found from the mountains and all these different herbals. Now we just have cooked all these herbals with the chickens and we have to wait for another 20 minutes and by using this time I'm going to show you something really interesting nearby this village. And near to her home we can see a really interesting place which is really famous in all over Tibet. And there on the ropes we can see the natural image of a man part and the female part. Why this place is so famous in all over Tibet is because when the couples couldn't get baby, they must have to come over here and have to touch the female's part onto that rope and have to touch the male's part and then they have to pray to have a baby. So this is the place where they pray to have a baby. So it's really interesting place to show you. So please follow with me and I will show you these two interesting natural ways. He was here alone and praying to nature, uh, asking for a baby. Oh, here we go. And mm. looks so so yummy and now I'm gonna look for a dessert and here we can pick the strawberries and this will be our dessert finally we finished with our lunch and look at this amazing Tibetan local lunch. It looks so healthy. And first I'm gonna try this mountain chicken soup. Looks so, so yummy. And this is going to be my first try, the mountain chicken. That is so, so delicious. 
it just let me remind my childhood back with my mom. It's no such a word to explain how delicious this chicken soup is. Amazing. Hmm. And my next step, I'm gonna try the mountain pigs. And that Tibetan pig, and it's just a natural taste. You have to mix it with the bread so that it will absorb all the oils. Mm. And now I'm gonna try fried potato and let's see how delicious it is. And that fried potato is so special and so organic. I feel like it's much more softer than the other potatoes. Let's try the fried egg with a fresh cabbage. It is so green and it looks so healthy. You see all the herbals that are all picked up from the mountains. This is the golden mushroom. Mm. Mm, mm. Mm. This Tibetan chicken is absolutely different than the other chicken. It tastes so raw and it's so soft. That makes me happy. <laughs> and now it's time for wild strawberries. It is a little bit sour. Lunch is really delicious and healthy lunch and I really enjoyed it so much. I've learned so many of their cultures and we experienced lots and lots of things in this small beautiful village. And when you visit Tibet, I really recommend you to come over here to experience all their beautiful cultures and to try the Tibetan local food. And I really thank her from bottom of my heart. This is Jamyang. Welcome to Tibet. We are the one that can show you original Tibet.